in this week uh, we started uh, uh, movements and uh, inequalities already we discussed uh, in the last lecture mean and variance mean is nothing but the first order movement and the variance is nothing but the second order movement of the random variable in the last class uh, we have discussed the first order movement and the second order movement uh, with the examples in this lecture we are going to discuss uh, higher order movements since we have already discussed uh, first and second order movement uh, now we are going to discuss uh, any nth order movement for the random variable if it exists followed by we are going to discuss the movements inequality so let me start with the definition of uh, higher order movements higher order movements the definition that is a nth order moment about the mean let x be a random variable with the nth order moment about the mean value exist then one can define with the notation mu suffix n that is nothing but expectation of x minus the expectation of x is denoted by mu that is mean x minus mu power n that is going to be the nth order moment about the mean whenever it exists we can denote it by mu suffix n whenever it exists that is the right hand side expectation exists then you can denote by the letter mu suffix n that is expectation of x minus mu power n where n can take the value it could be 1 2 and so on obviously if you take the value n is equal to 1 that is nothing but the mu suffix 1 is expectation of x minus mu that is same as expectation of x minus mu that is going to be 0 when n is equal to 2 then it is nothing but the variance of the random variable x. So, provided the right hand side expectation exists then one can define the nth order moment about the mean with the notation mu suffix n. The same way I can define the nth order moment about the origin. nth order moment about the origin or some books they use the word 0 both are one and the same let x be a random variable with nth order moment about the origin value exist then one can define 
with the notation mu suffix n dash that is nothing but expectation of x power n. Here again n can take the value 1, 2 and so on. So, when n is equal to 1, this is nothing but the mean or expectation of the random variable and 2 onwards uh, it is going to be called as a vnth order moment about the origin provided uh, the expectation exists that is very important. One can relate the second order moment uh, about the origin with the second order moment about the mean. For example, mu suffix uh, 2 dash that is uh, expectation of x square and mu suffix 2 that is nothing but the expectation of uh, x minus mu the whole square. This is same as uh, variance of x. So, the expectation of x minus mu whole square if you expand that is expectation of x square minus 2 x mu plus mu square. Expectation is a linear operator. So, it is expectation of x square minus 2 and mu are constant. So, it is expectation of x and mu is a constant. So, mu square constant expectation of mu square that is mu square. So, when you simplify you will get a expectation of x square minus uh, this is 2 mu into mu therefore, 2 mu square plus mu square. So, that is same as expectation of x square minus mu square that is same as mu 2 dash minus uh, mu 1 dash that means uh, mu 2 is nothing but uh, mu 2 dash minus uh, mu 1 dash the whole square. So, that means uh, one can write uh, central moment about the mean in terms of uh, central moment about the origin. Next, I am going to give the one important result as a theorem. what the theorem says if x is a random variable such that mu suffix n dash exists then mu suffix or dash exists for all or less than n that is a theorem. Whenever for a random variable if the nth order uh, moment about uh, origin exists then all the rth order uh, moment about the origin exists uh, for all or less than n. You can give the proof of this theorem. Given mod of uh, x power uh, or which is lesser than 1 plus mod x power n, this is for all x belonging to real. We can conclude uh, suppose you consider x as a continuous type random variable minus infinity to infinity mod x power r f of x dx where f of x is the probability density function of a continuous type random variable that is 
less than or equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 plus mod x power n times f of x dx that is same as 1 plus minus infinity to infinity mod of x power n f of x dx and since the nth order moment about the origin exists therefore, this quantity is going to be finite the integration quantity therefore, this whole quantity is going to be finite. This implies a minus infinity to infinity absolute of x power x f of x dx is a finite that is for all r which is lesser than n. So, this is a given you can include one more statement for r less than n given for r less than n mod x power r which is lesser than 1 plus mod x power n this is true therefore, uh, both side uh, you can do the integration by multiplying uh, f of x and uh, given that it is a nth order moment about the origin exist therefore, for all r less than n the moment of r exist also. The next uh, result as a theorem let x be a random variable whose orth order moments exist then one can write mu suffix n is same as summation over k is equal to 0 to n n c k mu suffix k dash with the minus mu 1 dash power n minus k. This can be proved whenever whenever n -th order moment exists, then one can write the n -th order moment about the mean is same as as a function of uh, all the previous order moments about the origin. The proof is uh, as follows. You start with uh, mu suffix n that is nothing but n -th order moment about the mean that is uh, x minus mu power n that is same as the expectation of x minus one can write mu as the mu 1 dash that power n. Now, we can go for the binomial expansion of x minus mu 1 dash power n. that is same as expectation of summation k is equal to 0 to n n c k x power k and minus mu 1 dash power n minus k. that is same as the n c k is a constant that is not a random minus mu 1 dash that is also not random. Therefore, expectation can be taken inside 
that is summation k is equal to 0 to n n c k expectation of x power k minus mu 1 dash power n minus k. I can rewrite uh, expectation x power k as the kth order moment about origin. Therefore, this is going to be summation k is equal to 0 to n n c k mu suffix k dash multiplied by minus mu suffix 1 dash power n minus k. Because of the previous theorem, when the nth order moment about mean exists, that means all the previous order also exists. Therefore, this is a valid statement. With the help of previous moments about the mean, you can always find the moment of nth order about the origin. In conclusion, with the previous starting from uh, first to nth order moment uh, about the origin, one can get uh, nth order moment uh, about the mean. One can go for uh, one easy example of uh, <coughs> how to find the nth order moment uh, for uh, summer random variable which is of the continuous type. Let x be a continuous type random variable with probability density function f of x is 1 divided by sigma times root pi e power minus x minus mu divided by sigma the whole square multiplied by 1 by 2, where x lies between minus infinity to infinity. So, this is a probability density function of a continuous type. Later, we are going to call it as the normal distribution when we are discussing a standard distributions. So, now we will keep it as a continuous type random variable with the probability density function 1 divided by sigma times the square root of 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma the whole square. Always uh, the sigma and the mu values are given. One can say the mu value can lies between minus infinity to infinity whereas uh, the sigma quantity is always greater than 0 what is the meaning of mu and sigma that also can be discussed. In this example, if you find out uh, expectation of x that is minus infinity to infinity x times probability density function with the assumption that the expectation exists, uh, we will try to find the value minus infinity to infinity x times f of x dx this is going to be after simplification you can get the answer that is mu. I am not going for the simplification of this integration as it is. If you substitute the f of x, x times f of x integration minus infinity to infinity, you can get the value mu. This mu is going to be called it as a mean that is called a mean of the random variable x here. Similarly, if you compute uh, expectation x square nothing but minus infinity to infinity x square times f of x dx, one can able to get uh, by after some simplification you can get mu square plus sigma square. Substituting 
f of x is 1 divided by sigma times the square root of 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square. Therefore, the variance of the random variable x that is expectation of x minus the mean is mu the whole square that is same as expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square. Just now we got it uh, e of x square is mu square plus sigma square and expectation of x that is mean that we got it as a mu that is a minus mu square. Therefore, you get variance is sigma square. That means, uh, for a for this continuous type random variable, the mean is going to be mu and the variance is going to be sigma square. We have another uh, measure that is a positive square root of variance that is called a standard deviation. So, here the sigma is the standard deviation because the sigma square is a variance and the positive square root of variance that is called the standard deviation. For this uh, continuous type random variable, the sigma is the standard deviation and sigma square is the variance. So, we got uh, first moment that is the mean variance we got it a sigma square. Now, we can go for higher order moments that is a expectation of x minus mu power n for n is equal to 3 onwards because for n is equal to 2 that is same as variance we got it already. So, we are computing the <coughs> nth order moment about the mean from 3 onwards that is same as minus infinity to infinity x minus mu, mu is a mean power n 1 divided by sigma square root of 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma the whole square dx. If you see the integration very carefully, when n is a odd positive integer, then the integration value is going to be 0, because e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu divided by sigma whole square is a positive, is a even function when n is a odd positive integer, the whole integration values is going to be 0. Therefore, you can immediately conclude uh, this is going to be 0 for uh, n is equal to 3, 5 and so on. Now, the question is uh, what is the value when uh, n is going to be the even uh, positive integer? even positive integer, one can simplify this integration and you can get the answer that is uh, n minus 1, n minus 3 and so on till multiplication of uh, 3 into 1 times sigma power n. When n is going to be 2, 4, 6 and so. So, for this continuous type uh, random variable, which is nothing but the normal distribution with the mean mu and the variance sigma square, we are finding the nth order moment about the mean for all for all the odd powers it is going to be 0, for the even you get the expression is n minus 1 into n minus 3 and so on, 3 into 2 times sigma power n.
when n takes a positive even positive integers.